everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and welcome to this video. So in this video, oh, Jesus. <laughs> hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and welcome back to this video. Right, so in this video, I'm going to be painting Bone Ripper's armor. Now, it took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. That's why this video is out a little bit later. Uh, simply because it's a bit more detailed. It's not as There's not as much to paint as there is on... The skin, but there's still a few more details that it just it just takes time to do it. There's, I'm a slow painter, but anyways, um, I changed a few things. One of them was I went with my fist on red in the prep video. I still went with my fist on red, but I wanted to get that kind of battle damage look on the armor, so I darkened it a bit further near the end. Um, but I think the red, I think it was the right choice in choosing red. It really makes the model parts of the model stick out. And instead of just having like just straight up metal color, but uh, I really enjoy painting this part It was it took a while, but I like it. He's finished. So he's about I'd say about 70% finished Well, maybe a bit less. I still have Tankwell and I still have the base Still to do and I still have well, well what's kind of left on Bone Ripper is kind of smaller parts now that shouldn't take too long There's still a bit to do after all that. So I uh, hopefully you guys like this video and let's just get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm wanting to do is point out the armor bits that I'm going to be painting. So, we have the big shoulder pad here, and pretty much just the top of all the guns, the four of them. We have the back plate here, just above his tail, and the part here just above his metal leg, kind of like on the tie. Now, as far, oh, and the part of his helmet, the top part. Now, as far as I can see, I think that's the only red parts. Uh, well, the only red armor parts that I'm going to be painting. So what I'm going to be starting off with is my fist on red. Now, if you've seen the previous video where I was picking which color, you know why I picked my fist on red. It was between this color and corn red. I really wasn't sure, but what I came up with was that I wanted the corn red for any of the robe colors. It looks more like a like a robe type of color. It's a bit darker and it can be like a nice contrast compared to this. Because this is probably going to be the brightest part on the model, except for maybe some of the green on like any of the wires and cables coming over them and everything. And plus what I'm going to be doing on this is I'm going to be doing like a weathered effect on it, like a like a chipping away. Like the armor's been used to a few fights here and then. So I can't wait to see what that's going to look on him. Or I can't wait to see how that's going to look on him. Um, but again, just do maybe two tin coats. Well, do it loot at least two tin coats. Um, and just spread it around as best you can. And uh, I'll see how I get on from here. Okay, so I got two layers of my fist on red on it. He's looking pretty nice. It dried really well. I'm trying to get the focus there we go I think it dried really nice it's looking like a pretty solid uh, base coat on it but uh, even the bit of contrast with the red is really looking good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start putting in some of the marks and scratches and stuff like that and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put it along here first up along this edge and along with uh, these kind of two cut marks as well. and I'm just going to put them Kind of bigger on the bottom and then smaller up along the top. So I think that's zoomed in as far as I can get it. So I want to make sure I just get a tin bit. Now I'll be using a bad on black for this. And you, I don't think you really just want to do kind of slight kind of lines. Almost like a bad highlight. I think that's kind of the best way to put it. Put it a little bit bigger around here. So yeah, because all you really want to do is just kind of put down a layer for the silver to kind of go on top of. Well, even this part here, you could even fill in the black parts in in the kind of cut here. The tin lines, so maybe like, like a bigger piece here, like a bigger scratch. 
It's the thinnest line then up along the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this all along. These ones, and I'll pick out, I'm not going to do it like a whole lot around the kind of the arm pieces. I'll probably do like along the edges here. Uh, kind of here. Kind of parts this look like it's going to hit the ground if it fell. So I'll pick up like the prominent parts. So I'll get that done and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so just for now, I've put the black kind of heavy highlights on the edge of the armor here. And I put some along here. Just kind of the most prominent edges that you think that might get hit with something or that might get weathered where you think some of the metal start, might start coming up through the paint job and stuff. So I did now then I got some uh, lead belcher. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint over the black but I'm just going to leave a tiny bit of the black over it. Just to kind of show that it's coming up in layers. Now you want to leave very little of the black. You kind of want to cover about 95% of it. Just kind of like that. Let me see if it will focus there for me. There you go. You can kind of see it along that way. And what you want to go out and do is then for this part. I'm not too pushed about these two big kind of deep cuts here in the armor because I plan on putting a shade over this. So that will kind of fill up there as well. Of course you're going to have to tidy up a bit if you mess up with the silver like I just did there. You might be able to see but there's a tiny little bit that's gone out. Especially with the armor. The armor is very like, close to the skin. I have to tidy up some of the parts there, some of the right ones on it tidy up the skin but just as best as you can just to paint over the, the black highlights what I'm using now is a small layer brush I think I have a smaller brush somewhere I might have to take it out for some of the parts Maybe I might go over this part again. So that's what you're going to need to do across any kind of parts that you've highlighted. So I'm going to finish this armor, uh, the shoulder pad. I have the other side as well to do. So I'm going to finish here and I'm going to do it on this plate as well. And then I'll uh, move on to the next step after that. Okay, so I did a little bit more. Um, as you can see, as on, on the rest of the armor, I've kind of left the, the kind of the chipping a little bit more subtle. I think on the back part here you can see it a little bit more. But I only put it on very little parts on it. Like just on the kind of end pieces here. That might need to be tidied up a little bit. But you kind of get the idea. I want the shoulder pad to be uh, the big piece to be seen. And the rest of it is kind of very subtle. Like even here. I still have to put a little bit more of chipping on this edge here. But I don't want to overdo it because with the silver color, I'm going to have to do nearly all these guns in silver because I was thinking bronze, but I've now kind of half decent bronze colors. So what I said I'd do is I'll do all the weapons here, the leg, uh, any of the kind of decorative metal pieces on the on the guns or on the arms. I'll do that like a like a silver metallic color, and uh, because the back, I'll make sure I get a bronze paint in time to do the backpack here with the power source and all that stuff I'll get that done in a bronze colour so just for now I'm going to be using uh, what's the colour I have lead belcher for all the metal parts here and it's the same colour that I use for the chipping effect as well so it kind of looks like like it's the silver colour is coming up from underneath it so hopefully it'll work so I'm going to be doing uh, the forearms the leg, I think the helmet I'm not sure if I do the helmet silver or bronze. Yeah, I might go silver. I'm not sure. I'll see what's like on the rest of the guns or on the rest of the arms. A uh, little bit of, the, bit of cloth here. And uh, we'll see how we get on from then. Okay, so I have the metal parts on. Uh, all the guns uh, on the little markings on the kind of the armor plates a little bit. 
all the kind of silver parts and hair. Some parts still need a little bit of a tidying up, but I'll get to that shortly. I went with a silver uh, color for his face mask, which I think is gonna look pretty cool. Uh, so what the choice is next is what wash do I put over these? Um, ob the obvious choice over metal will be null and oil, but I, I was thinking I want to try and keep it in the same way as the armor so the armor is all chipped and weathered and um, it looks like it's battle damaged so maybe do I go with some agrax or shed inside instead instead of like making it the uh, metal silver parts all kind of darker the agrax earth shed will make it a little bit more darker and dirtier at the same time so I'm gonna go over um, all the metal parts now tidy up some bits as well and especially the leg I want the leg to look really dirty so that's a whole lot of silver down there and I'll see how we get on after that okay so I've got the Agrax earth shed all over it it's all dry it's really after darkening everything down it's kind of really kind of put it up in some little corners which I, I'm going to try and fix but other than that it really kind of I think it's done a good job in making it more dirty more kind of uh, battle worn kind of armor I haven't done it to the leg yet but I'll get around to it so what I'm going to do now if I can zoom closer maybe I can't is I'm going to start highlighting with silver all the kind of the metal silver parts on the edges all these kind of little rivets sticking up any of these parts like this uh, any of these little kind of scaven markings they're all going to be highlighted now with a rune fang steel it's going to make it pop a little bit more it's going to make the edges of it stick out a bit further and just to kind of separate it from the kind of the darkness of the red as well so i'm going to do it on the back part here also just above his tail so the armor is really starting to come together all the metal parts as well now i have left some metal parts alone i've left kind of the horn here and on this part as well and I'm just going to do them separately when I come to doing the different colours for the different parts of them also. So I'm going to get started with the highlight and room fang steel and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, I'm going to say that the armour is pretty much almost finished now. Uh, I've highlighted all the kind of higher parts, the kind of the glyphs, the scaven markings. I've highlighted the silver parts or the scratched parts. Uh, the spikes, they've all got covered, they all got a coat of rune fang steel to make them stick out make that color pop a bit more and i really think the armor has really come together now the only thing that's left to do is what i want to try is a thin layer of evil sun scarlet as a highlight over the red now i'm only going to do it in very few selected parts i don't want it to be kind of the armor's dark and down and then there's like some really bright parts i, I don't want to go for that so what i'm wanting to do is I'm going to put some of the highlights around the helmet here. I want the helmet to stick out a little more, the top, the red part of it. And I might do some of the edges, just the back parts here, of uh, the kind of, the, the, I think they're called like bracers, the arm parts of the armor. So I'm going to try that now. Evil, evil, evil Scuns. Evil Suns Scarlet is pretty bright. So let's just have a go of it now and see what it kind of looks like over the, the helmet. Let me get my small layer brush. And I get this paint sorted out. Let's get a little bit on this. Okay, a little bit of water. Give it a nice mix. And make sure I'm in focus. There we go. So I'm just going to try the very edges around this part of the helmet, the kind of the back part. See what that looks like on the camera it's a very very small highlight but you can just about see it if i set the focus on the head it's very small 
but I think it works. I think it's coming out pretty decent. I'm just getting hard to focus because I'm doing such a small part. Let me try it on a more prominent part on the arms. And this is kind of a last minute addition. I haven't really thought about adding this onto it. So let's see if it works on the arm part here. Just very easily. Just barely scrape it along the edge. I want to make sure I don't want to get any of the silver coloured in. And I don't want to go over any of the kind of scratched parts that I did. I think I'll have to go a bit deeper. A bit bigger. I, want it to, I don't want it to be small, but I want you to be able to see it as well. Yeah, I think... Actually, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You can just about see kind of a small thin line. Just right here. I think it makes the armor stick out a small bit more. So I'm going to work on that all around them. Just on smaller parts, not a whole lot. To see what it comes out like. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so... I'm not sure if it's going to come up too much on the camera. But if you can see the red highlights on the big shoulder pad there. Maybe it might be a bit better on the back. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I really think that it makes the armor pop so much more. Just very kind of subtle highlights. Whereas if you look at it from a certain angle, oh yeah, you can see that it looks pretty good. I like it. Um, but I'm fine. I'm happy the armor's finally done. There's a few little bits I have to off camera, like finish this part on the leg. But uh, for the most of it, it's all finished. That's what the armor is gonna look like. Um, the next stage, I think, once I get the leg finished here, I just have to put a wash on that and highlight it up a small bit. All that's left after that, I think, is kind of smaller parts. Like I have the chain mill, the cloth, his belt, uh, the cloth around his back, around his neck. And then I have to get like a bronze color, or a different metallic color at least, for this backpack. And all the, the tubes and everything coming out of it. So I think we're, we're a good 70% finished, I think. Well, I'd say a little bit more because the skin took a lot of time, but the armor took a, like a hell of a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. It's like not as much, but there was like way more stuff to do on it uh, than the skin. So, hopefully you guys like this. It's a bit of a, an awkward recording for this one. Um, hopefully everything looks okay. I know the light might be a bit funny, but I think it's alright. Um, dark red armor. I mean, I know I was prepped with... The, the prep video to do my fist on red and leave it like that but I think once I put the shade on it it really darkens it and it's gonna I think because I want to have like a very kind of dirt built up uh, base like on a like rubble so I think like it's, it'll fit along with that as well so makes him look very battle battle ready you know he's after been in a few fights his armor's not as new as it used to be so uh, hopefully you guys like this but make sure to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below uh anything you'd like me to do with this any kind of things you've like you know just make sure to let me know in the comment section and uh i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching